a lot of people actually they send me messages saying you know the bhagwan do roti kam de but tumhari kisi bhi ko na de okay i i can't sit everybody down and say boss you know this is the deal you know i'm an actor and you know i this is my job what i'm doing i'm not this in real life yes. and people are actually going to the extent saying that uh, you know uh, uh, things like you will never be happy in your life and uh, if a person if a female especially she is asking for that how much ever amount she is asking for i think she very well deserves it If I wear makeup, it's a problem. If I don't wear makeup, it's a problem. So, but so Taruk, I want to say, Shahnaz Gill's uh, dialogue. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm going to die. Ah, exactly. What do you mean? I'm going to die. Exactly. That is my whole thing. I mean, I said, I said, look. Joining me today is national award-winning. Priya Mani, who was last seen in the Family Man 2, wherein she blew she blew away all of our mind as Suchi and continues to do so. Welcome, Priya Mani, to Bollywood. Hi, Papa. thank I'm, you so much for having me. I am very excited also because I loved you as Suchi in both the seasons. I know, I know, there's a lot of moral um, sort of a debate that is happening about Suchi's character per se. But tell me. What is it that one? What is that one trait in Suchi which you really resonate with personally as well as me? I think not only me. I think all the women today resonate with uh, Suchi. I mean, they identify with the character basically because uh, I believe that in any relationship, communication is the most important thing. And now, in right, like, like right from season one to season two, you can just see that the communication gap between Srikanth and Suchi yes. has. You know, grown a lot, and she is trying her best to communicate with him. Tell, tell you know, she basically she wants somebody to listen to her what she's also going through. And given the nature of Shrikant's job, he is not able to, though he wants to, uh, but he's not able to. So, as a last resort, she tries to go to a counselor and you know tries to bridge the gap and you know so that the communication is there. But she's not yeah. able to do that. And then on the other hand, you know the tantrums of a grown-up teenager and whatever she goes through and so all that you know people could really identify with it. And I I also received a lot of messages from ladies saying that um, the way Suchi and also talking about mental health may not be on a big scale, but at least the topic has. But been it addresses it. Correct. So the topic has already been addressed in season one and season two. So uh, you know all that is there. So you know a lot of, as I said, a lot of ladies have identified with the character, and they've already said. I mean, they've they've said that you know the way you portray Suchi, we also identify ourselves with that because sort some ladies are like this is what we go through. I mean, we also want yeah. to communicate, but we're not able to, and sort of a thing. So that really gets, and you feel happy when people say that you know you like they like the yeah. character the way it's been portrayed. But were you surprised when you saw a lot of people were actually questioning the mora, uh, mor, uh, the character on moral grounds, and not just that, dissing you as an actor who has played that played that character? Something. I I believe that I've done something right. So you can diss me all you want, you can hate me all you want, but that's a, that's when I know that at least you know the character is mm-hmm. good, and you know that's and the way it is. um uh, shaped up right from season 1 to season 2 even now i mean like half an hour back i got a lot of messages saying aapko shrikant ke sath aisa nahi karna chahiye <laughs> really <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah almost on a daily basis i keep getting that and uh, the thing is whatever post i put on my instagram half the people comment saying oh arvind ke liye aapne dress aisa ye kiya arvind bula raha hai uh and in as i said half the messages are like shikant ke sath aapko ye nahi karna chahiye tha aap shikant ke sath aapne shikant ko dhoka kyun diya so see i don't tend to respond to all that it just i just laugh it off because obviously that means you know i've done something right and they yep. which is why i think they've uh, you know they, they believe yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so i just laugh it off saying okay at least in this way also even you know if i if, if you hate me that means i've done something right so that's good sure. in a way true but but you know i, I was reading one of the interviews by the writers for and he said that if this was the case i mean in, in place of suchi if it was she can people would have questioned the way they did uh, yeah. you know the character do you also mm. feel that it also stems from the fact that as a society we are still mm. patriarchal and uh, is sexist to the core this has been there from time immemorial so we can't actually sit everybody down and say boss you know this is the deal and you know this is the thing 
but yeah in a way i do feel that um, if this was done by a man nobody will question it you know uh they say ha ha are aisa ho gaya matlab theek hai uh but if a woman is going through a lot of problems she's not able to communicate and she's trying her best and you know which obviously leads to going to a counselor and things like that and whatever uh you know the development of the character from season 1 to season 2 a lot of people are not liking it because they are they still think that you know you have to be uh, loyal to your husband or, you know obviously and a lot of people actually they send me messages saying you know the uh, bhagwan do roti kam de but तुम्हारी ये सब ठीक है बट लोनावला में क्या हुआ था ये सब ठीक है बट आपने श्रीकांत को धोखा क्यों दिया I I I I like, dude, I mean, you know, get the, uh, okay, I understand. But see, now I can't sit everybody down and say, boss, you know, this is the deal. You know, I'm an actor, and you know, I, this is my job. What I'm doing, I'm not this in real life. Yeah. And people are actually going to the extent saying that, uh, you know, uh, 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 things like you will never be happy in your life, and uh, oh things God. like that. Why go to such an extent? I mean, look, you don't like. the character well and good that is your opinion keep it to yourself yeah i mean you don't have to take it out personally to the actor who's playing the part yeah uh, but yes i mean saying that i won't say everybody is in the hate mode there are a lot of people who obviously like the character also and they have answered to the hate people for me you know they have also said arish is just an actor and you know that means her acting is good that you hating the character means the yeah. she's done something good then A lot of people also message me saying, "Ma'am, don't uh, worry take about all the yeah. messages. Don't take it to heart. Uh, why don't you reply?" I said, "Look, this. I, I thought to myself. I said, now I can't keep messaging each and everybody saying, 'Boss, this is me. This is me. I'm an actor. I'm not this in real life.' Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then I was like, hey, it's okay. I, I remember. I remember a journalist friend of mine actually defended the character uh, during a conversation that someone went on to her saying that you know you are justifying. infidelity and she she just went like this she is like oh my god one you know it even know what has happened it is still Correct. a mystery you are judging that woman faces a certain conversation that we don't know what the conversation is going to be that no one knows you know that and, uh, <laughs> but uh, sadly i think that is how our society is uh, i don't know i mean you know when we talk about sexism as well i think recently there was a huge furor on social media when us when tarina kapoor there was a rumor and this was again based on a rumor where tarina kapoor khan um uh, reportedly asked for a certain amount uh, for for to play a mythological character and there was a huge uproar where people broadcast religion how dare she ask uh, a whooping amount like you know maybe 12 crore or whatever mm-hmm. uh, how do you see that yamini given that we talk about pay disparity we talk about equality within the industry but we are not moving ahead why is a <laughs> why is an actress being questioned for asking a certain amount which she feels she deserves where an actor can go about asking 50 60 crores and no one questions it Yeah, you yourself have answered that question for me. Even I had the same question. I still have the same question. I mean, it is kind of uh, and see one thing is regarding the pay parity. I would definitely say that if a woman is asking for what she deserves, I think it is because she deserves it. That is her market thing, and she deserves what she is asking mm-hmm. for. So I don't think you should question that. Uh, but with regards to bringing cast and things like that, that is wrong because it's obviously a character that she's going to portray. So, how does it matter if you know you're portraying a person from another uh, religion or another caste? How does that matter? It's just a movie at the end of the day. It may not. Obviously, they'll bring in uh, points which are relevant to what we have learnt from time immemorial about the character and things like that. Even if it's an autobiography or not, I'm just saying. uh it is a fictional world where some people do think that it is real and i'm saying fil- fictional world film in general now if you're doing like an autobiography yes you are bringing in uh moments and uh you know uh 
points from that person's life which has actually happened uh, yeah. so people would actually know that okay you know such a thing has actually happened and if this happens through so many years and years of research so many months of research and things like that so obviously the makers are not stupid no to do something like that out of the blue without yeah. doing any they are not dumb to do that Yeah. So obviously they've done their research and if they feel that this particular actor beat whoever I'm not talking particularly only about Karina but I'm saying beat whoever if they feel that this character is right for the role I think they should the, the person should be right no that's that's why they're saying okay yeah. I want this yeah. particular person to play this character which I mean they obviously have the thing in their mind that this person would do justice to the character which is why they're oh. offering it to the female lead or male lead or whoever now again as i said about the pay parity i don't think there's anything wrong um even if if it is a rumor also what i'm saying is i think um a, if a person if a female especially she is asking for that how much ever amount she is asking for i think she very well deserves it so i don't yeah, think and i mean <laughs> i mean you decide your worth right i mean it's up to the director or the producer if he wants to pay that much or yeah. not but at the end of the day you can decide what you can charge for that exactly. and, and i think and i think uh these girl these ladies at this point they have reached a point where they can say what they want uh mm-hmm. they can say like look this is this is what i feel and you know this is this is my value and i don't think it's wrong there is nothing yeah. wrong in speaking your mind saying look i feel that i need this much and it's not wrong and rightly as you said it depends on the director and producer if they feel that it is if she is worth it she is worth it if they're not definitely and it's completely up to them no but you can't come to you can't judge a person or you can't um, make a comment on that person just because you think that it is wrong it's not you know that True. that does that person is not deserve she doesn't deserve it. but you know i i also want to know i read a lot of your i think in the previous interview with naya nodi you had mentioned about how a lot of people targeted you for your color uh for 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 your skin tone and i found i found that empowering that you spoke about it because a lot of people don't are not really comfortable speaking about it mm. you know? uh but do you read but do you remember the time when you actually came to terms with the fact that people will speak about these things and all you can do is probably just be a little more thick skin because no they're not going to stop only because of the fact see honestly i think after the movie pantiviran which i did and i got all the award and things like that um they started calling me by the character's name and in that i have like there's a the main character's name muttaragu uh mm-hmm. and uh in the movie uh the hero calls me karwachi karwachi generally it's it's a it's a slang in i wouldn't i don't okay it may not be a slang but um it's generally calling a girl out of you know affection and things like that it's just calling black karu karu okay. karpu is black okay in tamil mm-hmm. so this is just a village tone where the hero sort of calls the girl like that okay because okay. she's obviously right from childhood they have shown that this girl is a little dark skinned and things like that mm-hmm. and uh, even while shooting we had to like you know put dark makeup on ourselves that's the mm-hmm. max that we have done so i figured that even after movie released and i did a couple of other films in other languages you know a lot of people kept calling me by that name which i was completely fine with because i said anyway chalta hai they calling me by the character's name absolutely not an issue but i sort of um I think a lot of people started noticing because I started wearing makeup and I started doing like films normal films where yeah you know, uh, like how normal girls are portrayed in films with song and dance and all that glamorous yeah glamorous yeah but yeah. I think that is when people were like oh you oh uh, one section of the people are like oh my god you're looking so good with makeup and blah 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 the others are like oh you know they still call me by that thing and the worst was I I won't say worst but it really took turn to the thing when i started posting pictures because of my reality show so i had to post pictures you know obviously thanking all the designers and my stylist and my yeah. things like that so that is when people started saying oh you know what why are you looking so your face is looking white but your skin your leg is looking black your this or that i said why why are you talking about skin color all of a sudden i mean what is the whole issue about it i mean you know if you're happy in who you are so what i mean there's nothing wrong in uh, you know being a little dark skinned also and uh, that also became a big issue when i said shri krishna was black i mean you know some there are some portrayals 
or some stories where they have said Sri Krishna is actually black in color. Some are saying that he was actually blue in color. That yeah. also became a big issue. Some people are saying she doesn't even know anything about the Hindu mythology. How can she call Krishna black? Sri Krishna is not black. Sri Krishna is blue. But somebody else again answered for them saying it is only in the uh, story books or comic books or you know in the TV that we see or whatever uh, that you know we have been given the uh, the notion that Sri Krishna is blue because of the right. pictures or whatever that we've seen. So I said, see, you say anything, it will be an issue. You don't say anything, it will be an issue. But I thought I should at least come up saying that yes, I have been uh, uh, targeted a little more than my weight. A lot of people have actually commented on the skin tone, basically, and even now also, even after this thing came out, uh, for one of the posts, some girl said, "Oh, you said you're not going to wear makeup, so why are you wearing makeup now?" I said, "Yeah, if I wear makeup, it's a problem. If I don't wear makeup, it's a problem." So, so I, don't... Karu, <laughs> I want to say, Shenaz Gill's uh, dialogue here. Kya karu, main mar ah, exactly. <laughs> Kya karu, main mar exactly. That is my whole thing. I mean, I said, I said, look, people are going to say what they want to say at the end of the day. I mean, you just have to take it with a pinch of salt. I mean, if you keep reacting to everything that they say. Then it's just adding more fuel to the fire. That's sure. it. Sure. Okay, now, before I let you go, last question I would ask that um, you know, uh, for people like me who were perhaps uh, not uh, uh, who did not know about your work down south and have loved your performance in the Family Man too, and would love to see you do a lot more of Hindi uh, content as well. Um, are there offers coming in? Because people, I mean, the directors and the writers, they have seen your performance in the Family Man and. And of course, his story as well, and uh, they have loved it. And uh, so, are there more offers coming in? What are the kind of offers that you're perhaps getting? See now, right now for release in Hindi, I have Maidan with Ajay sir. Um, but I can very safely say my portion in the film is finished. They still have a bit to shoot. Um, so uh, that, I mean, obviously, once the situation gets better, they will do it. Um, but apart from that, yes, I have verbally said yes to another uh, series. Ah, but nice. Whole, yeah, but I won't be able to talk about it much because you know we're still not um, yeah I mean, shooting and things like that. So yes, I've been getting a lot of offers almost almost every day. Um, unfortunately, I mean a lot of I won't say unfortunately, but yeah, a lot of people have also asked if I'm interested in uh, serials and uh, things like really that. Really I'm not into. <laughs> I'm I'm really sorry if anybody is watching it, but honestly. With all due respect, right now I'm not interested in Saas Bahu serials. So right now, no. Um, but yes, I've been getting a lot of offers. So I'm just taking my time and uh, in, in accepting them. Yeah. But thank you, thank you so much, Priyamini. It was lovely you. chatting with you. I saw I, I felt that I got to know you a little better after speaking to you. So thank you so much and lots of love. Hi, this is Priyamani, and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. Please do like, share, and subscribe.